Hi guys, I'm BreezeDubDub2 man, and I've got another unboxing video for you. So, here I've got my old jackknife, uh, Fishman's jackknife, uh, or survival knife. And here is a box all the way from Lithuania. So, in the box, here we have a World War II German tornister. So I've got this because it's got the lovely different coloured patch on the cowhide. So it's in reasonably good condition. And also, the really cool thing is the 1943 date. It shows that these were used late war. Um, it's also got the, uh, these, uh, what are they called? Also the, the later variant of the, basically the, you attach these to the Y straps rather than having the two straps that come over and attach to the top of the ammo pouches. Um, so yeah, this is the later, well, I'd, I'd like to say it's the later version, but I have seen the 1943 one, which was the same as the Torsca 39. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool, let's have a look on the inside, it's pretty nice, it's got a lovely brass button there, rather than an aluminium one, by the looks of it, and here we've got Straps look like they're in quite good condition. It's definitely been issued because it has had the um, it has had in here. You can see that's where the messing would have been uh, hung. So the messing would have sat here in a little sort of bag and. You can see it's been cut off, so you know it's been issued. Um, and there's the lovely inside. It's in quite good condition. I really like this one. So yeah. And then here's the inside part with the war hide. The war hide has got all dried up, so it's started to go all weird. Uh, so I'm possibly I might wet that again, just so I can put it back into shape. Because um, it's really the war hide that's making it. You get this sort of weird effect on the outside with the leather. Um, the leather needs to be treated as well. But it's in quite good intact condition, I think. Um, yeah. The make is H O Y. It says R X F H. And underneath it says 1943. And then underneath that it says 14. There. I don't know if you can see that very well. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Really happy with it. Really nice one. Um, it's also, it is also missing, um, there used to be a little hook, which you'd um, be able to uh, attach onto this piece here. It'd go through there and you could hook that onto the bottom of your belt. Um, so that your toilet would stay in place. However, um, this one's missing that. Either, well, it, it was obviously made with it because it's got the, the little adaption for it to be there. But it's obviously been taken off. You can kind of see where it was. Two line marks there and there. Um, but yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty happy with that. So let's go on with my 
where the new toilet is. I'm going to start restoring them now. Uh, so I've got to treat them all. The edge around this one is a bit well, quite badly damaged, as you can see. But I don't really mind um, because the rest of it's in quite good condition. Mm, and I'm okay with the leather working, so I, I could repair that. So that is basically that. Very happy with this. That's interesting. Also, another interesting thing is you can actually see where the straps have been sewn on. So there and there, you can see where these two, these two bits, these were um, sewn on, and they are actually sewn on inside here, and they come through. It, you won't be able to see it, but they do. Um, another in really cool interesting thing is that it's got uh, mud stains on it um, which is very very cool in my opinion and also because it's 43 production note the difference in colour between that part and this um, I think that's because they used a different co coloured fabric for each part so yeah pretty pretty cool stuff so that's basically that um hope you guys enjoyed comment subscribe bye